Hi everyone, welcome to another uh, Fractal tutorial with Cinema 4D and Octane. Today we are going to use uh, Vectron and in particular a formula from uh, Vectron pack number 3. So I've already installed the pack, so we have all the presets here and also we have the formulas. Uh, the formulas is this one, so double click on Boxbrot go under object and we have our Vectron object already here so we can uh, remove this material from the Vectron and let's just explore some of the parameters so um, there's many different parameters there's the bailout, the iteration and the fixer so uh, all those parameters are responsible for the level of detail and um, the precision so you can just um, you don't really need to change those uh, another cool parameter is the hybrid bias bias sorry uh, which controls um, how you are going to mix the formulas so um, here we have for example, if I set this to zero, we have amazing box formula, which is really a common and famous formula. Um, but if you increase the hybrid bias, you see that uh, something is start to happen and the mandel bubble appear. So I found out that this number is really good to produce uh, at producing a hybrid version so you have the mandelbub and also the uh, amazing box formula and then you have uh, the classic parameters like the the box scale and box fold box radius you can just play with those and look for something cool um, there's another cool parameter which is the box smooth um, this will smooth everything out let me show you just reset the parameters to default right so if we change the box smooth you see everything is smooth it out really cool and there's actually two different uh, smooth op options and really cool formula anyway um, there's different uh, mandelbub variation here so you can try all the different ones my favorite is the spike it's really spiky and just going to reset everything again and uh, there's a ping pong option this really doesn't change much but sometimes you just need a little change maybe because the camera is inside the fractal and I just leave it there um, there's a loop parameter which is also really cool of course so with this loop parameter you can basically um, create a loop and there's another loop parameter here so we are actually going to create a loop so uh, let's explore some more parameters and then we go back to the loop there's some mandelbub scale really cool you see here in this there's a hard uh, edge we can smooth that out in this way with the smooth parameter I like this sphere here we can uh, play with the rotations so this is already really abstract 
as you can see here of course you can loop just the rotation but it's not really my favorite kind of animation so uh, you can enable the julia mode and also here play with parameters and uh, there's uh, color on iteration if you want but not in this tutorial so uh, let's try to create something that looks cool um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I need a mean radius yeah I want to create a loop uh, in the middle here where there's this cool sphere and let's use a spike version of it so you see this looks like a, like a, a spider or something like that but I don't really like the, the hard edge here so we can change that with the second box smooth option here like that and let's try to optimize this minus radius okay something like that this is cool and uh, you can always change uh, the mode here so but let's let's stick with this one and okay i like this so how to make it loop uh, you see that there's some repetition here but uh, you have to find the correct values um, we need to uh, look the, at the Mandel power which is 8 and uh, let's set actually a keyframe here so at loop pi and loop pi 2 let's set everything to 0 let's go to the last keyframe here and um, we need to find out the correct number so the correct number is this one so we have pi which is uh, 3.1415 if i remember right etc um, divided by um, sorry divided by the power so the power is 8 uh, divided by 2 so it's 4 let's do this with the calculator so uh, pi divided by 4 and we have this number just copy that go back to cinema and paste it here and here and set the keyframe so now uh, the last frame and the first frame are exactly the same and you have a perfect loop um, the bad thing is that uh, it's not in linear so you can go here and show f curve and set the curve to linear just select all ctrl a and click on linear and now we have a clean loop smooth that's pretty cool i think and uh, okay normal kernel is fast but it's boring after a while so let's create a cool material uh, there's already one here which is um, kind of simple material just some um, random walk uh, subsurface scattering and of course you can change colors here let's let's try some red orange 
you see the effect here and let's try to play with the light so i want to set the background to black uh, for this i need a texture environment and <clears throat> instead of primary we need a visible go here change it to black and we have a black dark background and I want to add some depth of field so we need an octane camera right and uh, I like to change the focal length to something uh, different like the 80 okay and we just need to find a good angle not always easy of course and let's try to um, do a square loop like that sorry okay perfect and you see some artifacts here but you don't actually have to worry about that um, I mean you you can change you can change the the fixer here if you decrease that you see that everything is more uh, precise and I don't like the black spot here so we can just simply duplicate ctrl c ctrl v Duplicate the fractal and uh, move it around. So we cover that spot like that. Maybe let's just rotate a little bit. Okay. And let's add a depth of field um, in the camera. So just here obtain camera tag and thin lens depth of field and just increase the aperture and you see that there's the autofocus on this point probably of course we can change all the settings here let's try eight without autofocus so let's pick the focus point like that um, we can improve even more the image uh, this is really simple there's no light there's no strange uh, effects there's no fog but to me it looks good and it's simple um, we can apply some post effect of course you can do that in in post not, not in octane but that's the option, so why not to try? You can change, um, you, you can actually enable the um, denoiser, just set everything here to enabled. And once the uh, image is rendered, you will see that the D main pass here is denoised. Um, you can use a custom uh, LUT preset i have a few here it's like a filter that is going to to change um, all the color settings and contrast like this one is kind of cool and that's pretty much it um, i rendered this one so let's see how it looks